So during protein synthesis, the DNA strand unzips so that the um, so the mRNA can come in to take the codes that it contains. The mRNA pairs with the DNA, forming a base se base complementary sequence. Then it travels out of the nucleus and a ribosome attaches to mRNA in the cytoplasm. On the ribosome, the mRNA provides the code for the protein that will be made. In the cytoplasm, specific amino acids are attached to specific molecules of tRNA. Molecules of tRNA and their amino acids attach to the mRNA. The bases on the tRNA read the message and pair up on the mRNA. Once an amino acid is added, the other tRNA is released and picks up another amino acid of the same kind. So then, so these attach together, and that creates serine. These attach together, and it creates alanine. And these together, it creates isocerine. In the ribosome, these transfer molecules attach one at a time to the ribosome and continue to read the message. The amino acids are linked together and form a growing chain. The order of the amino acids is determined by the order of the three-base code on the mRNA.